Dear reader, Making Friends with Chaos is an artist's book documenting my reflexive inquiry into what I'm coming to know about my learning edges and meeting and negotiating with those and the values which support me in my practice. After making a map which took up my whole dining room of all of the data that I had collected across the year, I decided to cluster my data into some key discussion points around my relationship with space, my relationship with people, and my relationship with myself as a practitioner. There is my map there. So under those headings, I put some subheadings in there for you to help you to navigate the writing that I've included. And there's also a layering of pages to represent the deepening of my inquiries into these different aspects of my placement from this year. My inquiry into my own dissonance to the original overwhelm that I felt when I went into the placement and how I worked through that. The learning curve that I feel like I've been on for the entirety of this year. And some of the important experiences along the way, which were how I met and negotiated with my learning edges and relied on the MICAT values as everything else was stripped away. Working with neurodiverse people was such differing needs from person to person and group to group. So some of the images you'll see that in colour are my maps and the front windows that we decorated for different events that we had across the year. Um, I have layered my own artwork underneath my responding in text. I have also included some ISRs, some work from my supervision group as well. And the return of Paulus Berenson as a companion for me, the potter and the dancer, who was introduced in a previous unit, who I really resonated with and who had really helped me out in what to do with the clay. So the clay containers are my holding spaces for my experiencing, my safe spaces. There's a close up there. And they are multimodal in that they contain little souvenirs of all of those experiences and those journeys that I've been on. And uh, they'll be held dear to me as I seal them and, and keep them as souvenirs of this reflexive inquiry as well. And so they hold keywords, they hold some of the presentations that I made throughout the year. They hold the people that I met and who I worked with at Sensorium. And also my own development uh, which I've mentioned before, was a great learning curve. There's uh, some more images of my map there. So in lieu of me showing this to you in person and actually showing you the artefacts, I thought I would just give a brief introduction and tell you why I chose the modes that I did. I feel like I've included, including my woolly stuff, <laughs> the elements of myself and the ones that, that really spoke to me um, the strongest when I was considering what to use and how to explore, but also my process of inquiry, which I feel is what I want to show with this artist book. It, the whole assignment was an inquiry and a series of mini inquiries, uh, which led me in several different directions that I've documented there. And also my final thoughts on moving from student to practitioner that we covered in supervision there. So there's a wide list of things included in that reference list that's at the back there. I hope you enjoy reading it and I enjoyed making it. Thank you.